Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to the Universum, where today we're going to begin by doing something which has been asked for quite a lot in the comments recently. Many of you lovely people out there think that we should build a Nuggetoid factory so we can get robot nuggets. More than a few of you have requested this. And you know what, who am I to deny you lovely people robot nuggets? Let's get it done, shall we? Let's get a Nuggetoid factory in, get some robot nuggets up and running, and then just hope that they don't go all Skynet on us and try to overthrow Cabordia. And I think over here is a pretty good location for a lovely new Nuggetoid factory. Nice and big and empty and flat. It's quite near to other things over here, so steel and chemicals and other bits and bobs that we might well need to build robots. So I think over here is going to be where we can put our first Nuggetoid factory. Let's get one in, shall we? So it'll be under space. Which one of these is it? It's not that, it's not that, is it that one? It's that one there, okay. So what do we need for that? Little bit of plastic, got plenty of that. Electronics and steel. Okay, so we can build one. It decreases happiness, which I suppose makes sense. Maybe the Nuggets aren't happy that they've got robots taking over their jobs or whatever. It also weirdly decreases crime. I don't quite know why it decreases crime, but okay, that's quite a good thing. Yay for the Nugget Toys decreasing crime. And then it takes a little bit of power, a little bit of water, and it does generate a tiny bit of pollution, but we can offset that with one of the new parks that we unlocked last time. So I think we should be okay. Now, the only question is how big is this going to be? I'm expecting the Nugget Toy factory to be quite grand indeed. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, okay. No, they're not that big at all. They're not that big at all. Over here, we haven't got any firefighter hers. So we will have to put one of those in. And then, of course, if we get one of those in, we might as well put an engineer thing in and everything else. But, um, okay. Okay, yeah, so they're not that big. They're kind of just like a regular factory. I thought they were going to be a big, gigantic thing like this or the airport or something because you know, they're making robots. But no, apparently, you don't need a lot of room to make a robot. Okie doke. Let's put it on that corner there then. If we put that just there, in fact, if we move it over, look, if we try and push it over, okay, oh no, hang on, ah, no, there's an angled road just there, okay, it can't go just there, um, yeah, okay, put it just there then, so there we go, our very first Nuggetoid factory has gone down, and then, next door, let's get a fire station, we'll pop that, although, hang on, if we pop it over here, that gives us more coverage over in this direction, and we might end up building over there. Ah, hang on a minute. Hang on. We're going to be blatting these things out of existence. What are they? Are they these sort of candy floss, cotton candy things we need? That is Manbro fruit. We've got that. And that is deadly seed, which we have as well. Okay, no, it's fine. We can build on those. It's all good. Uh, right, let's grab ourselves a fire station. We will put that on that corner. So pop that there. And then, where's the engineer thing? It's that one, isn't it? Get an engineer thing in. Um, put that, put that just there. Just put it next to that. There we go. Do we need anything else over here? I mean, it does take a little bit of power. So I'm sort of thinking maybe we should try and sort of make this a little bit more sort of, you know, self-sustaining, if you like. So maybe we get the park in to offset the pollution and then we can build, I don't know, a few solar panels to provide the power it needs. Maybe that's what we should do. How is that lake looking as well? 100% of our water is in that lake. So that's okay. So maybe as well, just because that does require some water, do we build ourselves a pump? Now we've got 1,000 additional water. No, it's fine. We don't need to start draining that lake as well. It's absolutely fine. Okay, right, hang on. If we unpause time a little bit, do roads appear? Yay, okay, right, roads have appeared. Apart from there, Apart from there, that bit of road hasn't quite appeared yet. Okay, um, right. What else do we need then? What else is going to be quite useful? I don't think any of those things are going to be required. That's okay. Um, yeah, over here then. So we don't need a water pump. A reservoir might just be a handy thing to have over here anyway. Just because they're useful. We can store more water. That's always a good thing. So pop that in over there. Do you know what? An eatery. An eatery is always a good thing, isn't it? Um, we'll get one of those in as well. Maybe a battery. We're producing quite a lot of power as well. So maybe a little battery over here. Look, maybe if we put a battery there, it might connect that road up. Um, although, hang on, there isn't any road there. There's no road here. <laughs> really? So the, the road ends there and then it picks up again there. Okay, that seems a little bit daft, but okay. We'll put a battery just there because why not? Um, I, that's a bit odd. That's a bit odd. So I'd like the ability to build roads. 
just to kind of match that bit up. Just, you know, link those two up and then make the road contiguous. But no, we're not allowed to build roads, apparently. We can do all sorts of amazing god powers, but roads are completely beyond us. Right, okay, that's fine. And then, yeah, if we get some solar panels and then put them... How about here, look? Pop them there, like that. There we go. Some rocks to clear out the way, but that's absolutely fine. Um, and then maybe as well, just because we can... If we're doing that, get a wind turbine in as well, because, you know, maybe one day it won't be so sunny. So we can use wind power. So there we go, look. So a little bit of that going in. And then, yes, an eatery. An eatery would be quite good, because we have got gigantic piles of food. So let's make sure that we can cook it up and then eat it in nice sort of meal format. So if we put that just there, next door to the Nuggetoid factory, because yeah, the Nuggetoids aren't going to eat the food, of course, because they're robots. But uh, yeah, as everyone knows, robots eat, uh, eat nuts and bolts and drink oil. Of course they do. But um, yeah, people must work there. I assume people work there and they can knit next door and get a nice bite to eat. Wonderful. Um, I think that should be it. Or do we pop in? There's a courier hut just there. I don't think we need another courier hut. I think maybe that might be a bit excessive. Possibly a warehouse. Maybe a warehouse could be useful. Can we tuck it into that little gap? Oh, we might be able to, you know. Um, oh, now I'm not entirely convinced. Can it fit in that gap? I don't think it will fit in that gap very well. Uh, do you know what? Let's put it behind here. Let's pop the warehouse there, look. And then they can just bring goods from there around that corner. And then we will get one of these parks in to bring pollution down by 1%, which is quite good. Now, can that fit in there? And that it can't officially fit in the gap if we try and snap it to the road it says no but i think if we just build it normally it's fine i'm a bit i'm a bit wary of this i think it might it appears to be the corner of it appears to be clipping the corner of this road just here but if we put it like that it seems to be fine uh, we'll put it down does that annihilate the road no no, it's all fine, apparently. Oh, okay, there we go. Little part goes in. And then, yeah, can we put some other bits and bobs in here? Can we do anything to fill any gaps? Um, we could put in, yeah, can local business fit in that gap? No. No, it can't. Those gaps are ever so slightly too small. Botherations. Um, how about, ooh, I know what we could do over here for no real reason. Maybe we could have a lighthouse because that's fun on where those rocks are. So yay for a lighthouse. Um, and then what else could we put over it? Maybe some balloon rides because they're fun and we like fun things. Yay, look, Nuggets, I'm making you happy. So pop that in as well to kind of offset the, um, the unhappiness that that thing is going to cause. And I think that should be it. Have we got, do you know what, a bunker? We haven't got a bunker around here, actually. Could we put a little bunker over here, maybe? Maybe in that gap, look. Can we put it just here? Can it sort of fit there? Yes. Pop a little bunker in just there, just in case something happens over here. A lot of people can run into the bunker. Um, and then is that kind of it? Utility-wise, I think we're fine. Resource management. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. We've not... Oh, ow. Hang on. Oil. Okay. We put gas over here, didn't we, last time? We put a few gas mines in, but over here, there is an oil surplus. Look at that. There is so much oil. How about we get an oil jack in just there? Because, yes, we did have to get rid of oil jacks last time. And as a few people did point out in the comments, we didn't replace them. So that actually does work out quite well. 2,000 oil from the oil jack just there. Absolutely, yes. And another little bit of road comes in. Does that not complete either? <laughs> Who designed these roads? Can we... Hang on, just pick anything. Um, no, those roads don't link up either. Can we have a, a word with the road planning team over it? Look, they have to kind of get out of their cars and then walk that little way and, and then get back in their cars and carry on driving, which just does seem a little bit silly. But there we go, never mind. Um, I think that might be about it. I don't think there's anything else over here that we overly need. We're okay for all that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, we don't need food. We've got so much food going on. Don't need manufacturing. Oh, yeah, police. That's what I was going to look at, wasn't it? A police station. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, no, we're fine for the law. That's all good as well. I think all that's okay. We haven't got any of these yet. We haven't got any sort of heliports or tank hangers or anything, but we're sort of okay for now. Um, oh, a hospital. Have we got a hospital? Ah, no. Okay. 
we haven't got a hospital around here. Maybe it's worth getting a hospital in around this part of the world. Um, yeah, can we pop one just there? Yes, annoy the neighbours. We now know that's completely, absolutely fine. And then maybe, can we get one down here somewhere? Or in here? I don't think they're going to fit in that gap. Could it fit there? Could it fit in that gap? I think there's a bit of road there that we can just annihilate. That doesn't matter. Um, yeah, can we do that? Again, a bit weird. The hospitals are in defence. Slightly odd, but okay. Um, yeah, I think... Can we... Oh, can we fit it? <laughs> I don't think it's going to fit there, which is... Oh, no, it might. It might fit just there. Uh, if we put it... The thing is, it does annihilate the road, but I'm not entirely sure it's annihilating the bit of road that's in front of it. Okay, pause time. The only thing is, if the road gets destroyed and then we get rid of the building, does the road come back? I'm, I'm not convinced it does. Do you know what? Over here looks like a good place. Yay, we'll just pop it just there. Look nice and safe. Oh, no, hang on a minute. That's Panda Brain Plum. Okay, no, we're fine for that. What's that? That's Panda Brain Plum as well. And I think that should be it. I think that's all we need now. I mean, yeah, we could put all these other extra bits and bobs in, but I think we're sort of okay. Right, wonderful. This is all very good. What on earth is that? A celestial remnant extractor. Reclaim wreckage. Extract essential parts from the dismantled planet cracker for its reconstruction and continued service to your civilization. Extract essential planet cracker parts from the remnants. The celestial... Oh, hang on. That was... Oh, crikey, hang on. <laughs> Go all the way through to the space age. That was this stuff here. That was this stuff. Okay, so we build that thing. Oh, where it says we extract alien robot components from the ground, I thought that we'd either have to go to another planet where aliens might have been and kind of dig around in the dirt there, or we're going to dig around using our expedition thing under the ground here. But no, I think we build that special building and it means that we can go and get things out of the, you know, the remains of the planet cracker which is just kind of lying around. Okie dokie. Is it worth... What do we need to get one of those in? What are the things? There it is. Um, it is 25 steel and electronics and plastic. Okay. I think we get one of those in. Now, does it have to go kind of on this? Oh, no, it has to go just there, look. It fits on that particular thing. Oh, it's going to pick up whatever that thing is. The Planet Cracker battery. Okay, so if we say build, we're going to build a thing around here. Um, I mean, really, once upon a time, that was a little bit of a silly place to build. But we're over here, look, anyway. It's not that far away anymore. It's sort of fine. Uh, and then I think, because we are over here, maybe we do get an engineer thing up and running. Let's do it properly. Look, put an engineer thing in and then put a firefighting thing in as well. Although we can't put it where I'd like because that thing is ruining the road. Bother. Okay, we'll put it over here then if we have to. Uh, yeah, that overlaps quite well. So pop that there and that should be okay. So they can repair whatever that thing is and they can put out fires if there are any around here. Okay, right, wonderful. This is all looking pretty good. Yep, yeah, I don't want to click on that again. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, now really... The big thing is over here. Look at the amount of building work. They do get on with stuff very, very quickly. And the only reason these things aren't being built is because we told them to burn a big pile of rocks. So they've got to clear all the rocks out of the way. But yeah, look at this. They are doing this mighty quickly indeed. All sorts of things going in. The oil jacks going in. Got the warehouse going in. These three things here. Engineer Hut and the battery are going in. The Nuggetoid factory is actually being constructed. They've got all the stuff in that they need to actually build it, and it's 25% of the way through, and there is potentially a fire nearby. Okay, whereabouts is the nearby fire? Um, they're heading out that way. This does concern me slightly that I can't see the fire. <laughs> Where is the fire? Uh, are they late to the flames? I think maybe the fire's been dealt with. I think the fire's been handled. Chaps, no, it's all good. It's all fine. There we go, the fire. Oh, no, there is a fire over there. There is a fire uh, on a patch of... <laughs> on a patch of barren mountain. Oh, and there's... Hang on, who are you? Who are you? One brave firefighting nugget 
went up onto the side of a mountain to put out a fire. Who are you? Uh, Sam Fezval Phoenix. Well done. Well done. I feel like someone is lacking some vitamin me. <laughs> That's very good. I like that. Um, there we go. Well done. That was very brave of you. That was uh, that was very dedicated because that's not an easy place to get to. Look at that. You've had to sort of <laughs> Skyrim your way up the side of this mountain. And then, um, yeah, there you are. Look, you put out a fire on that and it's melted the snow away. Oh, actually, whilst we're here looking at this sort of you know, fairly useless mountain to us, is it not worth doing this? We did this a bit last time. Can we just pop a gigantic amount of trees onto the side of this mountain? because that will help with our tree total down here. Still on 12,000, but I think we can cover the side of this thing in quite a lot of trees. So here we go, go like that. And you know what, 90 points on that as well. It's worth it, so more trees come out. Still on 12,000, but that's okay. Uh, there is a bit here, I don't know if that's too steep for the trees to go on. Oh, crikey, so that's 200. We'll do that, 120. I don't know if much grew then because it's got snow on it and it's really hard to see. Uh, and then down here as well, look, a bit of a barren thing, not much going on. So we'll spend our final 60 points just there. Just get some trees popping out the side of the rock there and we'll keep a few points just in case we need to. And okay, didn't quite get up to 13,000 trees, but oxygen is good and water is on 128k. That's gone up quite a bit. Why well, is it not 119 at some point? So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes, we didn't put a defence tower anywhere over there, did we? Hang on. Has the uh, Ministry of Defence done that on this new bit over here? I completely forgot. Yes, they have. There's one there, and I imagine they might be putting another one in anyway, because they tend to do that. Hang on. The winter... Hang on. <gasps> The Nuggetoid Factory is there. Okay, wait there, Nuggetoid Factory. Also, hot air balloons are now available. Yay. Um, okay, so, uh, yes, where are we? Defense and get in a defense tower because we know now that these are very, very handy indeed. So, yeah, pop that in just there. Wonderful. Um, and, okay, right, gas mine. Go and deal with that. Oh, botherations. Okay. <laughs> this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. We are using up our supply of gas. Uh, right, okay. Yep, destroy that. And then can we salvage the bits? Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we are running out of gas, I think. We're running out of the gas that we can exploit, which is going to be a little bit of a problem later on. However, let's put that to the back of our minds right now, because at the moment, we can go and look at our lovely new Nuggetoid factory. Okay, what do we do here then? What do we do? So we've got three people. We've got a crikey, he's a geek and a lovely. <laughs> it's so geek company in the Nuggetoid factory. It's fantastic. So a crikey, he's a geek and a lovely work here. Um, so it's not as efficient as it could be. And they take a pea. Oh, hang on. They take a piece of an obtanium. Oh, oh, okay. Hopefully we don't need that for anything else because we've only got limited amounts of it. Um, okay, so limited unobtainium, but a little bit is going into there. A few people in the comments said that it shouldn't have been called unobtainium. It should have been called, you know, sort of quite difficult to get hold of tanium or something. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. We got that. And then some electronics. And it just says nuggetoids. I'm not... There's a, there's a plus and a minus here. Oh, start production. Oh, hang on. They haven't got the electronics in. That's the current issue. There's no electronics. So do we then get to dictate how many of these we would like to make? Once they put electronics in there, do we then get to choose? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I'm amazed how quickly that's all come together. I'm completely amazed. My flabber is well and truly gasted. Look at that. There's there's so much going on over here. Um, we have got 92 unemployed nuggets. 37 uneducated nuggets. Do you know what? Just because of that, and we don't have that many of these, maybe we should get some more universities in. Maybe now our 25 children just don't have enough options to go to university or school or whatever. So maybe let's get a few more of these in. Can we pop one in over there? No, we can't because apparently that would be bad. Uh, we'll put it over here, look. Let's pop it over there. It can be near the Nuggetoid factory. So we'll have one over there, please. So that should hopefully help out a bit. And then, where have we got 
There's not one over. Oh, no, there's one there. That's fine. Can we fit another one in somewhere else? I bet there's a big gap, isn't there? Hang on. There's probably not one around here. There's one over there. There isn't one over here. Uh, okay. Let's put one. Oh, we can't put one here. <laughs> Botherations. That's too hilly. We can't put one there because that is a bit of a gentle hill. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Oh, there's one there. Oh, okay. No, forget that. Scratch that. We don't need that. Can one go over here? Nope, that's Exile Settlement Territory. Okay, don't put one over there then. Fine, be like that. Okay, we don't have a university over in that part of town, which is sort of round the corner from the pyramids. There's one over there, but there isn't one over here. So let's get one in over here, shall we? Can it fit in that gap? Please tell me it can. It cannot. Bother rations. Okay, we'll put one in over here then. So we'll get university in... Just there, look, that'll do. That's going to be lovely. And that is quite near to lots of residences. So hopefully the children who live in these residences can go down here and get an education. Because, yeah, we do have 38 uneducated nuggets. I mean, OK, out of the 867, we have 829 are educated. But as you can see underneath where it says educated nuggets, it says required educated nuggets, nine which implies that we have nine roles across Cabordia somewhere or other that are not able to be filled because we haven't got enough educated nuggets. So that's probably not that good. So hopefully, if we put these two universities in, that might help out a little bit. I mean, is it worth getting a third in? Is it worth getting a third in somewhere just to really make sure that we have got enough? Uh, where are they? Just there. There's one over there. Um... We pr oh, no, hang on. There's not one over here, look. There's one just there. We haven't put one in this whole new bit over here. Okay. Uh, can one fit on that corner? No, of course one couldn't fit on that corner. That would be too easy. I mean, how about... Oh, no, we've just built one in the new bit, haven't we? Um, oh, crikey. Yeah, we filled that up with many things. <laughs> we didn't leave room for much else around here, did we? There is not room for other things. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What's that? What is this? I don't recognise that. Dragon egg fruit. Oh, I think we have dragon egg fruit already, don't we? I think we have that. Uh, where's... Uh, okay, yeah, here's a good question. Where's a farm? There's a farm. Hello, farm. Have we got dragon egg fruit? Have we got that already? Um, yes, we have. Oh, bother rations. Yeah, we've only got that one look. I don't know what the biome is, so I don't know where to go and look. Uh, okay, never mind. No, abandon that plan then. Um, yeah, where can we put another university? I mean, yeah, over here would have been perfect, but we've got other things here now. Unless, can one go? No, it's going to be too big, isn't it? It's going to be too big over there. Botherations. Yeah, it's too mountainy and hilly there. I would like to get one more in. The question is, where? Where can it go? I'm not entirely sure. Let me go and have a hunt around and just try to find a place to put one final university just to maybe get some more nuggets educated. Okay, we have a potentially good location there, but it is a little bit close to Capital City. Look, there is Capital City. That's where we'd like to build. It is opposite two great big residential blocks, so children in there could easily get educated which I suppose could be quite good. And it's not too far away from these either, but it is in a little bit of a weird place. And it would need a firefighter hut thing as well, which I think might be able to fit in over here. So it possibly won't be too bad. I think as well, we might need to obliterate some roads, but that's probably not so bad. Where does that road go? That road comes down there, back into Capital City. Okay, that's fine. And then it just kind of comes down here and is a bit of a dead end, I think. Yeah, that doesn't go anywhere. Okay, I am okay with losing those roads. So if we just put that, say, I mean, if we try and keep the other road, if we put it there, like so, like that, yes, it's going to annoy the neighbours. It is very close. And where's their bubble thing? <laughs> Can we find out? Oh, it's very close. It's very close, isn't it? They're going to be quite cross about that, I imagine. Um, okay, and then Firefighter Hut. Let's get one of those. Oh, it's just out of range. It's just ever so slightly painfully out of range. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll put that there, look. So it can sort of snap onto that bit of road. Yes, absolutely. Does that extra bit of road appear? Yes, it does. Wonderful. Okay, I'm quite happy about that. Is there an eatery around here? Is there an eatery? I don't think there is. 
could we maybe get an eatery in over here as well? Just so people don't have to go that far to go and get some food. Um, it can fit. That's in exile settlement territory. No, what about over here? Come on, it must be able to fit here. Come on, fit. Yes, perfect. Oh, it fits perfectly just there, actually. Yes, click. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so hopefully that will sort out our sort of education issue. Yeah, required educator nuggets is now 10. Okay, right, can you lot go to school, please? Um, we will go and look at, uh, look at the Nuggetoid factory in a second. However, is it worth looking at doing some trading whilst we're here? Uh, it hasn't refreshed yet. Okay, so they still don't have anything that we could possibly use. How about over here? You guys, do you want to do some trading? Oh no, they've still got a cooldown thing on. And, oh crikey, where are the others? <laughs> I'm very confused now. It's all looking very samey. Lots of pointy buildings. Okay, love land over here. We can't trade with them either because the cooldown is about halfway through. Okay, no, that's all fine. That's good. Oh, we have an infected zone. It's, it's just there and people are just walking right through it. Okay, we will sort that out. Uh, hello, we'll use our magic lifting powers. Sorry to scare you, everybody. Uh, yeah, let's pop you into... We know there's one over there, so whoop! In you go, marvellous. Um, just thinking, just thinking, does that cover over here, that cemetery? Yes, it does. Okay, thankfully, they do have quite a good range. Okay, that's very useful. Is there a cemetery covering over there? How's that looking over there? Okay, this bit here isn't covered. So if somebody were to, if one of the Nuggets were to die over here, then yes, it would not be covered. Oh, then look, we're coming around this entire big mountain. Look, <laughs> we're just wrapping our way around it. Uh, okay, I think let's get a cemetery in and we'll put it, can we put it over here? Uh, where, I always get confused where the front is. I always think the front should be the other way around, but no, it's not. Um, let's put it, let's put it over there. Look, actually, oh, can it fit in that gap? Could it fit in that gap? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Put that just there, please. So some road should appear around it. That's not what we're after, is it? No, it doesn't look pink. No, that's deadly seed. Right. Marvellous stuff. There's a whale. Hello. Uh, right. Nuggetoid factory. Uh, there. Over here. Over here. Right. Nuggetoid factory. What do we do with you, then? What do we do with you? So, one, an obtainium and four electronics. There's 16 electronics in there right now. Okay, um, so what do we do here then? So we can say, please make five nuggetoids. Okay, so start production. Oh, hang on. There's a crikey, there's a geek, a lovely, a phoenix, a batina, and another geek. Okay, no MATNs. No MATNs. Once the MATNs were everywhere, now they're not quite so common. They've sort of died out a little bit. I don't know if they're entirely gone. Uh, okay, right. Begin production of Nuggetoids. Okay, they're 3% of the way through. Um, are there any MATNs anymore? Can we order it by last name? Uh, oh, crikey. Roni. Oh, blimey. It's okay. <laughs> Hang on. We can search for MATN. There's, there's three. There's only three. Once they were everywhere. And now there's only three MATNs. Deary me. Okay, yeah, they have uh, they have fallen a little bit there. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of geeks, look. Which is, yeah, that's probably quite good, isn't it? But okay, right. Um, they're about 50% of the way through making our very first Nuggetoid. Um, although, only three people are actually here doing anything, look. They're working here. And oh, hang on. You're going to work. Oh, no, right, so you two are working there. You're carrying resources. You two are going to work. And you're just amusing. <laughs> what does that mean? It's been amusing. Is it cracking jokes? I don't know what that means. Okay, they're 80 something percent of the way through. Is that a nuggetoid? Is that a nuggetoid? This is brilliant. Is it going to pop out the end? I mean, what do we do with it? I don't know what we do with this. We're going to have five nuggetoids. Hang on a minute. Um, oh, yeah, it's done. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Hello. Oh, you are magnificent. Okay, you are brilliant. Um, you are a labourer. Okay, uh, you are <laughs> you are one zero zero one zero one zero one zero zero one one zero one zero one. Of course you are, and your message is beep boop beep boop. I would expect nothing else from you. Uh, okay, so what is this? Can we can we sort of assign points? 
I don't know what this is. That's some sort of health type thing, is it? So that's, yeah, a health meter. And that is a might meter. And that is some sort of carrying thing. And that's energy. Oh, okay, right. If they run out of energy, then they can't do stuff and they slow down. Um, how do you recharge them? They have to go back to a Nugatoid factory to charge, uh, charge them up. If their power hits zero before they find a spot, they'll stop moving and can be recharged by an engineer or an intelligent Nugatoid. Okay, how do we make intelligent Nugatoids? I've got no idea how we know whether it's intelligent or not, but we have our very first Nugatoid. Um, okay, uh, well, I mean, let's just see what they get up to. They <laughs> Look at them, they're completely ridiculous. They're brilliant. Just yeah, do, 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 do. Don't worry, everybody. I'm going to do some hauling or whatever. This is brilliant. I wonder where they are going to go. Don't go too far away. You're already on 97 of your power. So don't completely run out of power. Sort of stay in the local area, please. Right. We have a Nuggetoid. And I don't think it'll be that long until we have another one. Yeah, 65%, 66%. Um, yeah, the Unobtainium... We're down to three. or It's, it's one Unobtainium to make a Nuggetoid. We don't have that much Unobtainium, really. It seems like a, a small reward. I mean, they're brilliant and they're lovely. But, I mean, yeah, they run out of power. Okay, they don't eat food or anything. We've got loads of food. It's probably better that we just get more Nuggets. But look, got a little count now. Total number of drones in your population. Two two nuggetoids and no unpowered nuggetoids oh, there's another one there it is there's number two hello nuggetoid number two what are you called ah yes of course zero one zero zero one zero 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 one 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 zero <laughs> obviously you are i knew that i was gonna guess at that right that's very good this is very exciting there's a university going in uh, right let's fly over here quick pootle around here how is that thing going uh, is that thing, is that thing being put together? Uh, beams. We are lacking beams. Yeah, we did, once upon a time, have a bit of a plan, didn't we? To try to, um, to try to build the, uh, whatever it is, I've completely forgotten, it's called the Hyperloop, that's it. The sort of the magical transport future armor tube thing. Um, and at the start of the video, we did have quite a lot of beams. And now we don't, because of course we just did a gigantic big building project over here and a little bit over there, and then we put some hospitals down and everything else as well. So we are now running low on beams again. Also, quite low on electronics. We could do with our neighbours just, you know, stocking up on things again. Just we could go and do some trading. Karinaville, have you refreshed? Still haven't refreshed. Okay. Um, electronics. Is there an issue that we're running low on electronics? Are we running out of a particular thing? Which is the electronics factory? <laughs> I think it's not over here, is it? It's over here. It's the shiny... It's that one there. It looks like an office block from a distance. That one there. Um, iron, gas and oil. Got loads of iron, loads of gas, loads of oil. So we should be okay. Maybe it's just a case of, you know, we're just going through it quite a lot. We need 80 beams for construction. Oh, okay. And 24 electronics for construction. Okay, yeah, we're, we're using quite a lot of resources. Okay, let's maybe just run time on a bit, shall we? Let everything get put together that we've told them to build. They can get some more Nuggetoids. We have three Nuggetoids now, which is completely fantastic. Um, oh, yeah, look. We haven't got... Oh, no, I was going to say, people are not arriving over there. But they are arriving over there now, which is good. Okay, there we go. Right, no, I thought maybe we didn't have enough people, but we have got people over there. Marvellous. Right, okay, let's just get time ticking on until we've got that thing done. I don't really know what to expect from this. So let's get this Celestial Remnant Extractor thing sorted out, and then we'll see what that does. Because, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure... Also, what's happened to the road around here? Hang on. There's an engineer hut just there, which is... Hang on a minute, wasn't there... There was a road there once upon a time. There was a road. A road ran right through here. <laughs> Where's the road gone? Who's got rid of the road? Okay, right, hang on a minute. Maybe because that's there, the road has vanished? I don't know. 
there was a road that went underneath the thing, but now it's gone. Hang on, if we just click on anything. Um, yeah, nothing sort of in the way. Well, apart from the giant crashed alien thing, but nothing is you know, overly in the way. It doesn't do much. The road only goes to just there anyway, but never mind. Hang on, what's that? Is that pink? Nope, that's Panda Brain Plum. Just anything now. What's that? Is it a thing? That's Panda Brain Plum as well. Dual harmonization research is complete. Remind me what these things did. Um, oh, yes. That was a Celestial Alchemixer. So we can now build a Celestial Alchemixer. Okay. I'm not quite sure what that does either. I imagine it's under space. And there it is. Okay. Harvest and process alien resources for your city's needs. Bridging the gap between worlds. Okay, so it's not very good for crime. It doesn't make people very happy. And it does produce a little bit of pollution. But I think, yes, from reading all this, I think we can use some sort of alien substance, which we might get from our thing over here, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. And then we might be able to then turn it into other useful things using the Alchemixer thing. But again, I'm not entirely sure how that works. We will we'll find out. Let's get this thing done first. Let's get that thing put together. And we'll just see what happens with this. Because I'm not quite sure what this does either. Hang on a minute. I think we have a couple of space boxes to open, don't we? I think we have at least two, if not more. Where's the middle bit? There we go. Yes, we've got two of them. Okay, have we had a look at them? Yes, okay. Loose wires are bursting from the seams of the box. The box is warm to the nugget's touch. Okay, so loose wires would imply electronics, which would be quite useful. So I'm happy to open that one. Please also have a jigsaw piece. That is a wheel thing. And that is, that's electronics. Eye of the world. Okay, yeah, so that is, um, that is one of these. That one there. Okay, so we're halfway through that one now. Okay, and 30 electronics is very helpful right now. That is very, very good. 10 required for construction. So now we have a little surplus of electronics, which is marvellous. Oh, look, there's a person there sort of lugging the electronics on their back, I think. So Kelho Phoenix is sort of, you know, lugging them along in a bag. And then this person here, I think they're a courier. They're a proper courier. Um, they've got like a magic kind of floaty wheelbarrow thing <laughs> just to help them out a bit. Wonderful. Right. And this box here... Uh, your nugget's energy drains fast as they approach the box. A skunky smell wafts from the box. Okay, scrap that. Scrap that. Get rid of that. We don't want that. That's going to be trouble. And that is just some iron. Okay, that is a little bit disappointing, but okie doke. Now, here we go. Somebody in the comments on the previous video, thank you commenting people, said, Oh, there was a space box right near your cursor at one point when I was chatting away and I went, oh yeah, so there is. And now I have absolutely no recollection of where that was at all. <laughs> was it over here somewhere? I, I can't remember. I can't recall now. I did look and I went, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's there. It's there. It's right there. I think it's that one. I think it's that one. I hope it's that one. Um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll grab that and we'll bring that back to the middle. Right, so pop that over there, because that might be full of useful bits and bobs. Thank you so much. I mean, beams. Beams would be useful. We're a bit low on beams right now, so that'd be really handy. Um, whilst we wait, then, for that thing to get sorted. Oh, they're working on it now, are they? Um, okay, so you know, while we get through the final 80-ish percent of that, I'll just have a little nip around and just see if I can find any more space boxes. Because, you know, as, as far as I know... We've got them all. But as we've seen, as we saw last time, uh, the alien UFO things do just kind of pop down and we shoot them out of the sky and they crash. And we don't even know about it. I don't think it tells us. So, um, yeah, there could be loads just kind of lying around that we haven't seen. So, um, yeah, I'll just sort of, uh, I'll pootle about and see if I can find any. If not, then, you know, no disaster. It's absolutely fine. But if we do grab one, then that's a little bit of a bonus. Okay, I've had a little look around and I can't find any more right now. But that's not to say there aren't any more. I just haven't seen them. And I think they could be quite difficult to spot because we've covered things in trees. When they're out on their own, the space boxes, they're quite easy to spot because, you know, they're not exactly natural things. They're a gigantic big kind of box thing. But when they're kind of covered in trees and such like, that might make them a little bit harder to spot. So there might well be some. If you have seen some, 
whilst we've been flying around and such like, then please do let me know. Give me a sort of a timestamp thing on the video and I can go back and find them and have a look and grab them and then open them and hopefully find exciting things inside. But uh, yeah, I don't know if we have any more. I'm not entirely sure. I bet there are some. I bet there are, I just haven't seen them because, you know, Kaboid is quite big now. Right, couple of things to deal with. Number one, over here, we have an election. Right, scientific focus, I think, is where we go because we are now doing research stuff. In fact, we've come to the end of our current research queue, so we'll go and sort that out in a minute. That's quite good, but you go for scientific focus. Food for all is, I mean, that's probably not that bad. It just makes people happier. Happiness is already very high. It can't be any higher than it is. Uh, I mean, it would help us go through our food a little bit, but that's okay. And contraception ban. I mean, that would sort of be okay. That would sort of be okay. Reproduction rate up by 25%. Do you know what? That wouldn't actually be that bad a thing. That wouldn't actually be that bad a thing. Although, we've now gone for scientific focus. Look, do you know what? No, we're going to switch back. We're going to switch back to to Hemrombo to maybe just boost the population a little bit. We can just get that ticking back a bit. It was over 900 once upon a time. Maybe if we can get that back again, that will be quite good. Um, okay, there's another fire nearby. I'm sure our wonderful Nugget fire service will be all over it. And I think whilst I was flying about the place looking for boxes, I think that thing over here is done. Yes, right. That thing is done. The Celestial Remnant Extractor is complete. So it needs fuel, which it has. It needs gas, which it has. And it needs some oil, which it doesn't have. But then when they're all provided, it's going to try and haul that thing out the ground. I think that's what that's going to do, hopefully. And then eventually, I think, yeah, it's going to take three sort of goes, is it? To sort of pull that out the ground. There is somebody arriving... There's somebody arriving over here. Um, oh, no, hang on. Are they... Are you fire service people? I'm not entirely sure. There are some people running around. I'm not quite sure. Um, I thought they might have been bringing bringing the oil, but no, never mind. Um, yes, yeah, so if we do get some oil... Hang on, are you bringing oil? Are you bringing oil? You've got a little kind of delivery thing. Please tell me you're bringing oil. No. You're, you're, oh, no, you are. You are. Yes, okay. So that thing is now trying to haul that big battery thing out the ground. So yes, it's 1% of the way through. So we need three goes at this to haul that thing out the ground. And then I imagine we plug it into this and that'll be completed. The battery bit will be complete. Okay. So, I mean, where do we get the other things from? Uh, oh, we know where they are. Oh, okie dokie. Right, I see, I see, right. We know that we have to go to the moon to find whatever that is, a round thing with red bits on, and to the ice planet to find that thingamajig just there. Right. Okay, I did not know that. I did not know that. Okay, that is very interesting. But step one, let's get that thing out first and just see what happens then. Because again, I'm not entirely sure what we do with it when it's out. Do we just sort of plug it back in? Okay, contraception ban i mean yeah it makes them a bit unhappy understandably so but it means our sort of you know nugget numbers can go up a little bit it can go up quite a bit we have got a lot of unemployed nuggets anyway but they can then just become sort of like laborers and move stuff around so that's fine but uh yep yeah, okay yep yeah, whatever it's fine even though it makes them unhappy happiness is still very very high we have a lot of lovely things to cheer up the nuggets a great deal. So uh, there we go. All looking good. I imagine, have we stopped making nuggetoids now? We got through, yeah. We made the five that we asked them to, and that's kind of it now. Yeah, okay. That's fine for now. That's okay for the moment. Oh, it's being repaired, look. Um, I mean, maybe. Do we free up those six people? I don't need any nuggetoids right now. We're okay for nuggetoids. Can we... Uh, switch off the building. How do we do that? There we go. Yeah. Turn off the building. So it won't produce anything and it won't use resources. So if we just turn that off, we just go, is it doing something? Uh, oh no, sorry. I saw this cog turning. I thought it was on the building, but it's just in the background of the overlay. So yeah, if we switch it off, they all clear off and go and do some of the jobs and that thing can just sit there and wait for a while until we need some more nuggetoids. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. That's fine. So there we go, everybody. Look, 
we've got robot nuggets now, which is wonderful. And not just one, we've got five of them pootling around somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. I'm not quite sure what they've been up to, but we have got five of them now, which is very exciting. Do you know what we could do with our 76 unemployed nuggets? We could possibly put them to work over here in our military buildings. Maybe we train up 20 rangers and, what's that, five boomers. Okay, so that'll do. And then, is it worth building a tank building? Is it worth getting one of them in? I'm not quite sure where it would go. It might have to go over here somewhere. But I think maybe that could be quite a good idea. Or oh, research, yes. Hang on, we'll go and do that as well. Because um, we haven't got a tank thing yet either. A tank hanger. Um, I mean, that road does just go to a dead end. So I'm not so precious about that. So if we put that in just... Um, yeah, there. That'll do. So, boop. Tank hanger goes in. That should then... Okay, that road is gone as well. But never mind, never mind. The tanks can sort of go onto that bit of road there. That's all fine. So get that in. And that means we can get some more tanks on the go. I mean, some more tanks. Some tanks, I should say, because we've got entirely none of them. Okay, that's quite good. Right, research. What do we do now? Uh, we'll get lithology for a space stone mine. Okay, yep, good. We can get spacier bits of rock. A blast furnace is a space iron mine. And global monitoring is a space prison. We don't even have a prison, but we will just unlock that anyway. And then a rotating stabilizer is for a space power plant. We don't have any of those either, but I think over here, look, oh, these are the Nuggetoid kind of improvement things. Unlocks the ability for your Nuggetoids to move with increased speed. Yes, okay, so INMSP-2 is some sort of Nuggetoid improvement thing. And then... Once, ah, no, it's that one. So we get SP2 done. I assume there's an SP1 somewhere. Have we unlocked INM something one? There's two and three. Okay, number one, I don't know. Number one just came with, with the Nuggetoids. Um, but yeah, so that means I can move quicker. That means they can work in buildings. And that one there means they can charge each other. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, we want to do that. We want to get that done. So yeah, we'll work our way through that bit of research. And then, next up, we're on shrink rays and anti-gravity. Okay. <laughs> right, we're getting into sort of bonkers things over here now, which is quite fun. But uh, yeah, we'll get these things done first. Ah, right. Okay, this is good news. The trading things appear to reset. So we can now go and do some trading with our neighbours and hopefully get quite a lot of useful bits and bobs. Like over here from Loveland, we can pick up 63 electronics. Yes, please, Loveland, we will have that. We'll take 28 gas as well, because we do use gas for various things, so we'll take a bit of that, and we will take your 91 chemicals, please, because we are burning our way through those pretty quickly. So, yeah, we'll take 91 chemicals, and would you like, would you like a giant pile of food? We've got nearly 18,000 food. How about you have a 1,000 food? Not even remotely interested. 2,000 food? Oh, nearly. 2,000 food is quite a good deal. Plus maybe some planks. No, uh, maybe some stone. How about 100 stone? Nope, not keen on the 100 stone. Hey, do you know what? Do you know what? We're going we're gonna to get rid of that offer there. We're going to change it to 200 stone. There we go. Just getting over the line. But we do get quite a lot of good stuff from them. So, uh, yeah. Okay, and... It does free up some room in our warehouses. If we can get rid of you know, thousands of units of stuff, that's got to be a good thing. Right, okay, over here, can we please get some stuff from you as well? Uh, we'll take your 94 gas, because that's useful. Got plenty of fuel, don't need that. We will take your 80 chemicals, thank you. How are we for glass? I've oh, got loads of glass, absolutely loads of it. Um, and again... How about we get rid of 1,000 lots of food? Because we've got so much food. We've got so much food. And would you like... Um, I mean, what if we just give you... Hello, aeroplane. What if we give you 500 planks and just do a nice boost to our reputation in the process? And that frees up 1,500 units of storage space. And yeah, we get a little bit back, but that's quite good, isn't it? So, um, yeah, okay, we'll do that. That's brilliant. And now... They don't hate us quite so much. I suppose that's quite good. Every cloud. And then over here, 
Start a tray with Carinavel. They've got beams. We'll take your beams. We will take your 70 plastic. And we will take your 83 chemicals. How are you for giant piles of food? How about you have a thousand units of food? Uh, that's nowhere near enough. Um, okay, that's fine. You could... Do you know what? We'll give you 250 lots of cement. Oh, okay. That kind of does it for you, does it? Okay, maybe we should give you something else as well, just to, again, free up more storage space. How about we give you 200... No, not 200. 400 stone. And we've still got... Still got room to go to just get our reputation back up with them a little bit. Um, how about we give them... 100 planks. Again, just to free up more storage space. Uh, yeah, okay, do that, please. We're going to get quite a lot of good stuff from that. And, look at that, we're down to 30,000 out of 36,000 storage space. We can store another 6,000 things again, which is pretty good. So there we go, that was quite a good trade. And we've got quite a nice supply of plastic again. Steel beams are ticking up, and electronics are looking pretty good as well. And yeah, I've got loads of chemicals now. But yeah, beams are still not coming through quite as quick as I would like. They're not going through quite as fast. We have got the two... Where are they? I get confused with what does what now. Is that a beam factory? No, that's fuel. Where are the where are the beam factories? We have many fuel factories. Loads of those. It's there, isn't it? It's these things, the steel mills. Um, yeah, okay. So they are, they are producing 3.4 every minute, which is pretty good. That's quite good, but it's just not enough for what we want. We want loads of them so we can build our giant Hyperlube thing. But okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah, we can't complain too much. Everything is looking pretty good. We're a little low on beams, but that's sort of okay. Oh, we can upgrade the expedition camp, can we? Okay, what do we need to do that? Let's take a quick look. Three cement and three electronics. Yes, absolutely. Get that done because then that's another thing upgraded. Ooh. Tank hanger was there. Is that done? Is the tank hanger complete already? Uh, no. No, it's not. It's nowhere near complete. It was in the list, so I thought, yo, hang on a minute, it's finished. But no. It, no, they've not even started. Nothing at all has gone on over there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> not to worry. Do you know what we could do? What we could do over here, we could get a courier hut in. Just to maybe just hurry things along a little bit, which would be good. But turn it around to face that bit of road. Right, boop. There we go. Bit of road completes like that, which is very nice. And then, yeah, more couriers means more stuff gets moved around a bit quicker, which is never a bad thing. Okay, we've maxed out our creator points at a thousand. So maybe we should go and do some of this. Uh, let's create some trees over here. Look, let's spend 200 points on producing a load of trees. We're still on 12,000. That didn't do too much there, did it? That didn't do that much. Okay, that wasn't that effective. What's that? Dragon egg fruit. Okie dokie. Um, another 110 points on that bit there. A smattering of trees, I suppose. Not too much. Uh, we could do quite a bit here, look. We could do quite a bit just there. There's a lot of room there to grow trees in. Uh, still on 12,000. I'm determined to get that up a bit now. There's not many trees in the middle over here. Hang on. They they produce trees. They should have some trees around them because that's kind of their job. But then over here, look, is a bit bereft. 200 points. Trees. More trees over here, please. It's a little bit sort of sad over there. So, yeah, we'll make that look a little bit nicer. Make it a bit more tree-y. Uh, see, I remember to use the word tree-y. Um, and then that bit's nice and tree-y. That, oh, here, look. Here is very not tree-y. Uh, 200 points, please, on that bit there. We've burned through our creator points quite a lot, but I think now we're on 13,000 trees, which is brilliant. And we get the lovely kind of desert foliage going on. Look, all the sort of you know, the cacti and various of the bits and bobs, which do look quite good. Right. That's all very good as well. This is all good news. We're flying through some of the research stuff, which is magnificent. Um... Oh, hang on. Did that... Where did that graveyard go? Do we put it over here? Yes, okay. The cemetery over here is now covering a grand area, which is pretty good. Right, okay. Things are looking pretty good here in Cabordia. Oh, look at the water levels in the original lake where we used to get all our water from. It's looking very, very healthy thanks to our lovely new hydro colliders there. It's looking very good. Is it full? Yes, 100%. It's fully topped up. That is completely brilliant. That's good. 
That's good. How is that one doing? That one is also on 100%. Okay, that's pretty impressive. How are the other ones doing? I mean, the others should be sort of topped up a little bit because we have got more rain clouds. So hopefully that should be okay. That's on 89%. Do you know what? There's no kind of emergencies coming up anytime immediately. There is a little bit of a blizzard coming toward... Oh, I don't know. Hang on, what? Toward the start of the summer? That doesn't make any sense, game. But okay, right. So at some point soon-ish, there might be a blizzard. But I think, yeah, we're okay for now. So if we trickle effect just there and just there, that should top that one back up. I don't think there's any pollution anymore. I don't think that's an issue. That's on 88%, so we'll just drop a thing on that. Yep, that's not polluted either. That one... Do we do anything with that? Water quantity is 87%. Uh, ah, no, there is a thing there. There is a water thing there. Okay, right, yeah, we shall pop a cloud over that as well. I think we might have to wait to do any more kind of rain cloud stuff. But again, looking after the planet. 135,000 out of 139,000. Oh, okay. It's looking very good. We are doing a grand job of making sure that we have plenty of water on the planet. That's very good. And yeah, that one's being topped up, look. Right, marvellous stuff. Yeah, it's all looking good, look. It's all looking good. Uh, all the curry has been put together. Um, yeah, that's quite good. So yeah, water looking pretty good. Got some nice amounts of trees now. The oxygen levels are looking good. The pollution is coming down. And there's no great kind of increase or decrease in the global temperature, which is very good. I did just see over here that we now do have a new tank hanger, which is pretty impressive. So what do we have? Uh, we've got 79 unemployed nuggets. So how about we get five tanks? Just train them up I don't quite know how that works. I assume we need some materials to build the tanks. I've got no idea, but we will find out. And then maybe at some point we can see them pootling about over here driving little tanks, which would be quite fun. Just see some like tanks on parade or whatever. That might be quite exciting. What's that? What's that? Pause time. What's that? That looks like the thing that we need. No, 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 no game. <laughs> no, don't tell me. Don't tell me that's the thing that we need. Um, We'll deal with that in a second. Thieves from Loveland stole your resources. Someone from Loveland just ran off with some of your resources. It depends. It depends what they've run off with, game, to be fair. <laughs> if it's food, they're quite welcome to it. Um, oh, we can't, we can't do anything about it. I assume they've been apprehended. I assume the Nugget PD are all over that. Um, I don't think that is the thing we're after. I think that's just a little kind of generic plant thing because we can't click on it. And it would have been flattened, I think, had we built over a proper kind of food resource thing. So I don't think that is what we're after. I hope it's not anyway, because if we have built over the one type of that plant thing that I've ever seen, that would be a little bit unfortunate. But I don't think it is that. I can see a space box, look, nestled under a tree down here. Okie dokie, there is another one. I think... Was I relatively close to that when earlier on I was saying, oh, I can't find any more, and there is one right there. Oh, okay, there we go. That's what I mean, though. They're kind of hidden away under the trees. So now they're a little bit harder to find, but okay, we've got that one there. Um, okay, so fly back over here. I mean, that one might not have been there back when I was saying that stuff earlier. Maybe that's only just appeared. I've got no idea. Um, that one, uh, and Nugget's Mouth's Water... And the box is heavy and smells of sawdust. Okay, it sounds like it's fine to open. It's not full of gas. Uh, it's got food in it and a bit of the leaning tower. Can we now build the leaning tower? Uh, yes. <gasps> yes, we can. It requires 20 steel and 35 cement. And we are going to go and put that down somewhere because that's going to be very, very exciting indeed. I mean, maybe... Maybe near the airport. Do you know what? We're going to put the leaning tower just here. Because the game lets us put the leaning tower there. So we shall put it there. It'll be quite an exciting thing to see when you come in to land at the International Cabordia Airport. I think that'll be quite good. You get to see a lovely landmark. So yeah, do you know what? We'll put that there, please. And a bit of road appears, which is lovely. Right. Very happy about that. There is an infected zone. Can we do anything about it? Oh, crikey. Okay. There are a number 
of dead people down here. Uh, okay, we shall grab you. Sorry for scaring you, everybody. But yeah, we kind of have to do this. Um, right, where is a cemetery of some kind? Is that what? Yeah, there we go. Right, boop, over there you go. And then back over here to get the other person, who is also a little bit dead, and grab you as... Oh, no. Not grab you, grab you. There we go, wonderful. I don't think anybody's around then either, so we didn't scare too many people. And pop you into... There it is, into there. We from up on high you go, rest in peace. Okay, I think what we will do is we will wrap things up for now because I think we have done quite well this time around. I think we've done a pretty good job of just you know, keeping things ticking over and gathering resources we've built a great big new bit over here like a huge big new part of Cambodia now exists over here oh hang on tanks we've got oh look <laughs> we have they've got little teeny tiny tanks just parked up oh I do like that okay that's very good right yeah I like that that's wonderful got little tanks on the go how is everyone else doing train all train all tra okay yeah we've got we've got everybody trained that we can have trained right there we go. This is wonderful. So not only do we have tanks, but we also do have nuggetoids. We've got tanks and little robot people as well, which is just all very exciting. We've done a lot of things today and it's all gone pretty well. So I think next time, how are we doing for these? Steel beams required for construction 20. So that's going to go down again. Got plenty of other resources going on. So that's all looking good. So, I mean, yeah, I keep saying we're going to do the Hyperloop project, but that will require a lot of just sort of sitting about and not doing much. I'm not very good at that because I tend to just go, oh, there's a thing over there, and I get very easily distracted by anything. Well, there's a bird there. Hello, bird. Um, so, yes, you know, I kind of get easily distracted by things. So it's very difficult to just kind of sit about and not do anything and just wait for all the resources to creep up. So, um, yeah, I don't know if we'll ever get the Hyperloop in. I really do want to, but it'll just require a lot of waiting around. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens next time. But I'm sort of tempted. Now we know that that thing... Oh, we can upgrade the iron mines. OK, we might think about that as well. But, uh, yeah, I'm tempted now that the... Where is it? Where's the, where's the big planet cracker thing? <laughs> you think I should be able to spot it, given it's a massive big space robot thing. I, OK, this is a bit sick. Where is it? There it is. Um, when that thing is out the ground, which hopefully won't be that long. Uh, no, it needs... Hang on. Something down there. What was that? There was something down there that was in red. I feel like I should possibly have a look at that. What was the red warning? University is more than... Is more rubble than building at the moment. Hang on, what? It... It looks... It looks fine? It looks... It's on about... What, a third of its current sort of integrity? Do you know what? We can help with that, can't we? We can rejuvenate that, I believe. Ta-da! It's fine. Don't you worry, everybody. We're on it. Um, so oh, they've got tanks. They're shoot... Are they shooting at our building? Oh. Oh, I see. Right. They didn't like the fact that we built that close to them. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, look. They're shooting at our university. Right, that might be a little bit of an issue. I think possibly that university is going to fall down. <laughs> do you know what we could do? Just for fun. Protective dome, protective dome. There we go, look. Don't worry, you've got a dome over you. Ah, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? You can't do anything. Is it fine? Um, it's, it's still taking damage. Hang on a minute. That, what do you mean? This, that doesn't make any sense. We've, we've built a protective dome game. There is a dome of protection. It's called a protective dome. Why isn't it doing the protecting? Um, right, okay, yeah, that... I mean, it was a risk. We knew that was a bit of a risky thing to build when we built it. But, um, yeah, I think maybe that is... Yeah, it's in shambles. That's going to fall down. They're just going to blow that apart, aren't they? I think people are trying to repair it. I think they're trying to frantically repair it, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to be a constant thing. They're going to constantly shoot at it. We're going to constantly try and repair it. Okay, right. We might need to revise that next time. We might need to possibly rejig that. How is the education? We've got required educator. Look, it's nine. 
got 40 uneducated nuggets. Courier Hood is being held together with sticks or whatever. Are they shooting at that as well? I don't like the fact they're shooting at us. Uh, oh no, maybe they're not shooting at that one. That might be that it's just falling apart. Don't worry, I'll, I'm on that as well. Don't worry, everybody. I'm, oh, there's an engineer coming to that. Sorry, engineer. <laughs> oh, okay, right. I see. That might be a little bit of a problem then with that university. Right, we'll deal with that next time. We'll deal with that. But yeah, they're, they're definitely shooting at it with tanks, which is a little bit mean if we're being honest. But uh, there we go. Do you know what? Pause time for now because otherwise other things will happen. And I'll get distracted by that too. I was saying I got easily distracted. There we go. <laughs> Case in point. Right. So we'll finish it for now. Come back next time. And just keep on doing what we've been doing. But yeah, it would be quite good if we could get the big planet cracker thing out of the out of the floor. Whatever it is. That thing. So get that thing out of the ground. It needs just another top up of resources. And then I think we'll be able to get it out. And then plug that in. And then maybe when that's done... We could look at doing some upgrades and then possibly think about having a little trip to the moon. I think that might be quite fun. We know there is something on the moon that we do want. So we'll have to try to figure out exactly how this works. Because I'm not 100% sure how this is all going to fit together. But yeah, we'll see what happens next time. But yeah, maybe we could potentially think about a little trip up into the stars. Or at least to the moon. Maybe not quite all the way to the stars. Over to there, look. Over to the moon where there is a thing that we do want to get our hands on. So, uh, yeah, plenty to do still in the universe. And hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the universe. And but for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about tutorial robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is. There's a murderous robot face. 